Hello YouTube. So today I am actually going to be on a radio show. I've never done that before, but I know a guy that runs an outdoor radio show called Big Ed Outdoors here in um, the Northwest Arkansas area. So he asked me to be on it um, to talk about my website and a few other things. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> um, we'll see how that goes, but I'm about ready to leave for that. After that, it's going to be raining all day, but I'm hoping to sneak out and catch a few fish for you guys. So stay tuned. Hey, welcome to another great show. Who do I got a good one lined up? If you're tuning in this morning, you're in luck because I got a couple guests to go ahead and talk to you about all sorts of things. I've got Ethan Do Better. That's right. <laughs> all right, and uh, uh, he's a former Kansas State fishing team and uh, has the um, website fishingtheback.com. He and I are going to get in the bucket and we're going to go ahead and talk about fishing in this first half. Welcome back. You know, when we go ahead and talk about getting in the bucket, talking about bass fishing, I want to go ahead and uh, pick Ethan's brain because he has gone ahead and specialized in certain areas. And um, one of them is working that Z-Man Ned Rig. Let's go ahead and talk about that a little bit. Yeah, that's right, Ed. Uh, so the Ned Rig is, the Ned Rig is one of my... Uh favorite baits actually for targeting fish that are inactive or are just, if, if you're having a day out there and you're yeah. not catching a lot, then Metric can be a really good one to pick up a few bites. Now, why I'm going ahead and asking him to do this is basically right now, you know, they're coming out of the shallows, they're moving into deeper water, fish are still really active, but as it starts to get cooler and cooler, the tricks of the trade. What do we need to do to go ahead and create a strike at times when they seem to be inactive? And the Ned Rig is one of the keys, right? Yeah, that's exactly right, uh, Ed. And the way I see it is you don't want to overwork your bait. I yeah. feel like as it gets colder, the baits that really shine are stuff like suspended jerk baits, Ned Rigs, jigs. But what do all those have in common? They sit still. Right. And so with a Ned Rig, the reason it works so well is that it's not doing too much down there. Yeah. That, it's an awesome bait for kids. Absolutely. Uh, explain. Yeah, because I think that everyone, like you and I, we're all doing this, doing the media work, ultimately to grow our industry, right? I mean, sure. we want to we make this a fun industry and we want to bring kids back into it. Um, as kids move more into cities and get away from the farm, I think that they're just less and less, the outdoors is less and less popular. But the best thing that we can do is make it easy for them to like it. Yeah. And so with the net rig, it's such an easy bait to work and you don't need to fully understand bass fishing to mm -hmm. catch fish on it. Right. And you don't even have to catch bass on it. You can catch pretty much any type of uh, any type of fish, which is great. Yeah. So that to me is a great bait to teach a kid how to fish. Ed, and you talked about squirrel and rabbit being in abundance. I mean, that's a perfect first animal to hunt as a kid, too. You get a little 22, and you go pop a few rabbit and squirrel, and that sparks some interest, too. So I, I yeah. couldn't help but bring that back to the table. Is That's a great way to get kids hunting. Maybe they don't necessarily like fishing. It might not be for them, but hunting could be another great hobby. So what I hear you saying is um, maybe that fishing was too specific. Let's just see what we can do to get kids to be out more outdoorsmen. That's exactly right. I mean, I like personally, I like fishing the best, but I also like to hike. I like to camp. I mean, there's so yeah, much that the outdoors so has much. to offer. You don't have to do just fishing or just hunting, but there might be something out there that your kid does like, and I think you got to expose them to all types of the outdoors. That's yeah. a great point. Yeah, it truly is. Thanks for that feedback. You know, guys, unfortunately, we're out of time again. Just got out of the radio show with Big Ed, and I gotta tell you, that was a lot of fun. I've never done a radio show before, but I definitely want to do it again. It was really cool. It was fun to just hang out with those guys and talk fishing and talk hunting and talk the outdoors and getting more kids involved with it. That's the ultimate goal of these videos, really, is to, um, to make it more interesting. Let's head to the pond and see if we can catch a fish. I'm here at the pond. I'm gonna toss around a jerk bait for a little while. It's the same pond I got those Ned Rig fish at. Uh, just figure I'm going to try to catch a few fish and see what happens. All right, switching to the other camera now.
I have seen Bills break off jerk baits before. But literally the back half of this jerk bait. This really? I'm just glad it's not a mega bass and it's just one of these little rick stick things. All right. Screw it. Ned rig time. <laughs> He ate it. He ate it, bro. Let's release this. This thing's freezing. Let's release it. I think I was dancing before that hook set, so that that's gonna be great footage. Hey Colin, I have a gift for you. It's a finesse TRD. This bad boy will catch you hundreds of fish. You only need one, bro. How do you feel? Do you want one of these? Probably do, man. Thanks. That one's better than either of the ones I caught. First Ned Rig fish, huh? Ned Rig, so easy even Colin can catch fish on it. <laughs> You blew it. Yeah. Oh, hook set like a boss. Why don't you come up and show that little guy to the camera? Slip off. Hey. Out here, straight hooking him. All right, Colin, the challenge is this. Next person to catch a fish earns a beer from any brewery of their choice within, you know, the Northwest Arkansas area. And this cast doesn't count. So the next cast we take is when the challenge begins. So I'm gonna catch the next fish. That's that. Challenge accepted. Challenge accepted, challenge begins. Smells like a nice brown ale to me. <laughs> Ned Rig always comes through for you, boy. Let's go. All right. 
Colin and I just got done fishing. That was the same Ned Rig I was using in the last Ned Rig video, and it's still going strong and catching a bunch of fish. I guarantee you I continue to catch fish on that for a long time. That's what's cool about Z-Man. Either way, I think we're gonna go eat and then maybe go down to like a, a fly shop. I don't know if I'm bringing you guys with me, but if not, thanks for watching. If you haven't already, go ahead and click subscribe down below. And if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and throw those in the comments below and I'll check them out when I get the chance. Thanks for watching. Check you next time.